Hey, good evening. Map here, Map Investments, bringing you a video today in the uh, stock market. And we could talk about a little bit of crypto market and certain stocks, market trends. I haven't done a video um, basically since uh, last week when Russia was uh, talking about going in. I guess uh, it's materializing and the markets are, are getting hit. Um, I have the futures here. So let's take a look at the dollar. I like to start to see where the dollar's at. Uh, the dollar's back up to its highs of 97. Uh, people uh, fly to the dollar as a safe haven. Um, and also they go into the 10 year treasury. They go into bonds, basically. Um, so dollars are 97 and we have the, so the 10 year has been up and down. Um, Right now, we have it at a 198 back up. Um, let me see the chart here. Let me pull up the daily. Let's see if I could pull up maybe five days. No, this is too many days. Let's see if we can do five days here. And we'll do 15 minutes. Or well, 30 minutes. So, we had... So when when the it was at two oh seven five days ago and as the Russia headline and the the tensions escalated, you could see how the interest rates dropped as people piled into bonds and we got to a low of one eight five. Now we're climbing back up um as people as people uh sell the bonds. And go back into risk assets, which is what happened earlier today with the with the rally. Uh, most foreign currencies are up, except the pound. Um, Bitcoin at thirty eight six seventy up three hundred. Uh, oil up to ninety five fifty up two seventy three, and I want to say uh, the high was a hundred. So we did hit a hundred, and uh, I will. Con I think we'll continue to see oil go higher. Uh, the last previous high, I think it was back uh, back in the day. I want to say like oh eight oh nine. I think we hit one fifty. I I think we can hit one fifty with what's going on. Um, S and P had a nice day today. Uh, we we were able to to rally. Uh, of the uh, the lows um, with the tension of the war um, but we have been extremely extremely oversold um, let me pull up the tape here the regular hours so these were the numbers for the regular closing session Dow Jones up 92 points uh, 0.28 per, 0.28 percent S&P up up one and a half percent 63 and the NASDAQ up 3.34% to 436. Small caps. Um, don't remember small caps being too crazy. Uh, actually, yeah, they were up 52 bucks to 2.67% as well. Um, I continue along with the futures. Um, gold. I uh, hit, uh, I want to say gold hit 19, yeah, 1976, the year I was born. And um, it rolled back today and it hit a low of 18, I want to say it was like 1880. It was ridiculous. Big sell off. This bar right here. Let me see what it was. It was a low of. Eighteen eighty nine, I think it says. Lower band says eighteen eighty nine, and now we're trading at nineteen twelve. Um, pretty crazy action in the gold today. I mean, everything was crazy. Um, copper's holding the four fifty mark. Feeders 
159 and I think they were down and so was the live cattle and the hogs they've sold off because the grains have gone up the grains are going crazy um, and I'll talk about that now small caps down seven in the uh, future trading now that opened at 6 p.m. Uh, at 1986 uh nasdaq down 87.50 down to 13.879 dow jones down 100 to 33.055 natural gas up over 450 to 467 468 palladium skyrocketed today i want to say at some at one point it was up 200 uh points or 200 dollars whatever you want to call it um because Russia is a big uh, player in palladium. Platinum back over a thousand. Silver back over. Silver was over twenty five, and it got hit. It was at twenty five seventy, and they came in and hit it. Um, and I don't think silver is done. Uh, silver will see much higher levels. Uh, as some of you know me out there, uh, those are one of my favorite assets, silver. And gold, and I think silver is very, very undervalued. VIX is trading at 20, almost 29, up 40 cents, very high. And wheat has been on a tear, and I'm benefiting, benefit, benefit, he's benefiting, couldn't say that word, from the, uh, Russia is a big exporter, and so is Ukraine, of the wheat. So all the grains are doing very, very well. Get ready for higher food costs. Get ready for higher energy prices. Get ready for stagflation. That's the environment we are in. That's that. Um, I got caught up a little bit in the sell-off. I, I didn't really um, beta weight, but today was a nice day and I recuperated some. Um, and just keep staying mechanical, systematic, and have your approach. And uh, you, you, you can't let these ups and downs uh, get to you. You have to be a premium seller in this volatility. And if you, your assumption is still the same in some of your positions, then you have to roll them out in time. If, if you're getting to that 21-day average on that option, expiration roll them out and give yourself more time to be right and collect more credits that's how uh that's how you win in this game being um meticulous systematic having your approach um not letting your ego get in the way staying small trading a lot and keeping good records of of what you're what you're doing and watching the trends um the market trend is lower uh the 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 um that's what the charts show um but obviously at some point there'll be there'll be a, a bounce um because where else are you gonna put your money i do like energy i do like the commodity uh space uh you name it, it it's it's working um you know from from gold silver copper gas energy uh, uh uh, natural gas, uh, crude oil, uh, you name it. Uh, the cryptocurrencies, I really haven't really paid attention to it. Um, actually, let me get my candies here. I am down on my Ethereum and my Bitcoin in the Grayscale Trust. Um, the global market cap is uh, $1.8 trillion right now. Um, and Bitcoin is at 38.7, Ethereum is at 2,600. And I really don't think you should mess with anything else. That's just my opinion. Um, just a lot of uncertainty. And with supposedly the talk of interest rates going higher, because that's all they talk about, but they still haven't done anything, um, that will affect this, this industry big time. So be careful with the cryptos. Um, I don't think there's, you know, no reason to really, uh, you know, throwing money at these things. I think you, you, you may be 
have a handful of them, you know, sand, mana, are, are one of my favorites for the met, for the metaverse, and um, which I own. Uh, maybe crypto.com since it's done a good job with their marketing and they do have a client base. Coinbase, Coinbase reported some decent numbers after the bell. Uh, I need them higher. And if you want to go maybe with some meme tokens, I still have Shiba. But, uh, you know, if you want some exposure, the, the main ones you want to be in are Bitcoin and Ether, either through these, uh, through Coinbase, buying the actual coins, or through the ETF itself as well. Um, it's a mixed bag. It actually looks like there's more green than red here in the top uh, 100. Just scrolling through here. I haven't really kept up with work and stuff. I really haven't had the time to keep up with the crypto market. But I'm not, you know, I made a little bit of money in it. And I'm holding some. But, you know, it's not my my forte. Because it's either 50-50. You buy and it goes up or down. And it's 50-50 shot. As opposed to options trading. That you can set up probabilities uh, at seventy percent or greater, or seventy-five percent, uh, probably of profit uh, when developing your trade. Um, so there's gray areas in regards to options, and that's why I love them. You have edges with volatility. Um, if you're wrong, you could defend your position and roll it out in time. There's more than one way to make money besides it going up and down. In options, you can have range bound trades you make money if the uh, also if the stock goes up uh and it doesn't get to your 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 position strategy your strikes um you also make money and there's also even strategies that it can go towards your 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 um your strikes and even make money on broken wing butterflies etc so there's so many ways to make money in options that it's just my um, inclination to to just stick with that. Um, did I did I speculate a little bit uh, in the cryptos? Yes, I did. But right now, um, it's just not for me. Uh, just the big daddies, and that's all. Um, on the news front, I mean, news front, everything is pretty much uh, geopolitical, and the Fed. Um, they're going to cut Russia's uh, ability to transact in all these currencies. I was listening to to, to, to Biden. So uh, we, we shall see what happens there. Um, I do have a position in uh, CrowdStrike. It was up big today. I have a broken wing butterfly at the 175 uh, strike. So let's see what happens there. Um, Beyond me, shares fall after posting wide and expected loss. Um, I don't have a position in bond beyond me. I might look at and read and see what the deal is and maybe uh, uh, um, implement a position. Etsy, I do have a position, and it blew, blew the numbers out. And uh, it was up big time in the after hours, uh, up 20% to 155. I have the 130, 120 put credit spread um which i should be able to cover tomorrow for a nice win uh what else i think i saw square trading big time higher um let me see if they have any news here on square china blames us for ukraine invasion gas prices are definitely gonna go up I don't see anything on Square. I know Square reported after the bell, and they did pretty good. They were up nicely. Square. I have a put credit spread on Square, and I actually need, I think, over one. I'm not sure if it's 110. Actually, it might be one. Might be one. One. 120, maybe, possibly. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Square options. 
I'm out in April. It's the 120, so I need it, I need it over 120. It's okay. I got to April, and I think they reported great numbers because they were up huge. Um, on the stock front, uh, I was up today almost 10%. I was, didn't make too many trades, 10 trades, just watching and rolling. I wish I would have rolled yesterday in the position fronts. Um, let's go p &L, open. Uh, one account, this is one IRA here. Uh, my worst position is the gray scale Bitcoin trust. I only got 100 shares at 33.59. It's actually at 26. So I'm down 700 bucks on this position, uh, which is 20% uh, right now. Um, and then I have smaller positions I have smile direct I have Glax Glaxco Smith Klein Klein I think it is yeah I think so Lone Depot uh, Nat uh, is a tanker and uh, then a small miner Kinross gold small miner Petrobras an oil company out of Brazil rig does uh, those ocean rigs Humana is another mi uh, miner BT Gold, another small miner. Ring Energy, a small oil producer. Tyson Foods and Vale, another miner. So I really have a lot of miners in this little portfolio here. In the other portfolio, my biggest loser is the KRE Regional Bank ETF and Ethereum. Um, I have Hertz, Shopify, XLF, which is a ETF for banks, Cliff, Oracle, NVIDIA, TTSH, they do tiles. Vroom is a dealer. Astra Space uh, does space shuttles. NVIDIA is uh, medical so, um, machines and stuff. DocuSign, BRF is me, Pfizer. America uh, is a Mexican phone utility company. BP, Chegg, Fiverr. Uh, Alpha is a medical mask maker. Natural Gas, Shift, Etsy, Ambev is beer. And then these are the ones that I'm up in. Silver ETF, Virtual is Big High Frequency Trader. Uh, uh, Krispy Kreme, um, Short Bonds, Robin Hood, Alcoa for Aluminum, Exers, Biopharma, BurgerFi. HBC Holdings, a foreign bank, Zoom, Gold, ETF, Lightspeed, Teladoc, GDX, GDXJ, Crocs, Freeport McMoran for Copper, Rivian, BNTX for COVID vaccines, Cameco for Uranium, Lululemon, NVAX for vaccines, Microsoft, and Moderna was up huge today. And then my worst positions in another regular brokerage account is Roblox, Deer, Natural Gas, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, Marijuana ETF, Allison Transmission, OPFI, Soybeans, Prudential, Planet Lab, and uh, I see Planet Lab, Pfizer, Total, Peloton, Zim, Spy ETF, Soy is a Wheat, Broken Wing Butterfly, Netflix, Twitter, Airbnb, uh, Nautilus Equipment, DraftKings, Beetle, which is a Bitcoin ETF, Tyson Foods again, BTU, Coldplay, Q's, Tesla, Facebook, POW for Bullets, Medlife for Insurance, ITUB is a foreign bank. Cavallo is Avocados, Telefonica, APA is a, um, Energy Play, Goodyear, Allstate, Adobe, Silver, Snap, Gilead, Vodafone, App, CVS, which I closed today after rolling for normal time for, for, uh, for pretty much, uh, was it break even? Oh, actually, I'm up here today, 140. So I was down, I kept rolling, 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 ended up being up. Uh, Williams, 
corn futures, more gold uh, ETF, CrowdStrike, which I talk about, DoorDash, small caps, put credit spreads, BNS is a, a foreign bank, British American tobacco, uh, a cigarette company overseas, Ag is a minor, Walmart, Broken Wing Butterfly, GDX, J, another um, minor ETF again, Home Depot, Devon, Matterport, Mac. Advanced Micro Devices, Marathon, I have a Iron Fly and Marathon, Redfin, Cisco, BP, XOP, uh, Nutrin, which is fertilizer, um, short for a hedge, the, uh, the um, S&P, down 27, so we're picking up speed to a downside. Intel, TNT, short, Unilever, Deutsch, Tech for copper, RFP for, for wood, ACVA for auction, gold, a miner, SBSW for platinum and palladium miner, X for steel, Senex for aluminum, Vita for, wow, Vita, a nice day for Vita. They do eggs and butter. Uh, Energy XLE, B BKT is like a, a cryptocurrency process payment for, for, uh, for crypto, uh, we got the NASDAQ down 142, and my NASDAQ short is working. It's, that's just a hedge. Uh, Avis Renacara, big. P10, big energy maker, um, energy play. Uh, Mosaic, another uh, fertilizer, a firm. Coinbase Square, Star Bulk Carrier, SQM for lithium, CRM, Roku. I'm up on oil, gold, and wheat. So, yeah, nice profitable day. Almost 9,200 right now on the day. So, looking good on the day. I have a lot of positions, but my mantra is uh, trade small, trade often. I do a lot of trades. Um, sometimes I forget I become too directional. Right now, I am very directional. Uh, I am leaning towards the long side, but that's what's hurt me. And you want to put a lot of strategies that are delta neutral where you're not really picking direction and you're just trying to make money on the range and the probabilities and the volatility contracting. Um, I don't think we're out of the woods yet. I think we're going to have more gyrations, which is a good market to trade in. So if you're not uh, up to date with the options, uh, I always tell you to learn them here and the TD uh, Ameri Ameritrade Network channel here under the More tab. Um, or you can go to Tastyworks over here. They have a lot of great education here. Um, major reversals after Russia, trades on the go, last call, trading charts with Tim Knight. Uh, it's just a lot of good stuff here to learn. Really, really uh um in the let's take a look at the earnings earnings so we had let's see here big move by madriga pharmaceuticals joint their chiropractor Baba, man, Baba's been a tough one. I've lost my butt on Baba. I don't have any position. Moderna, very nice day. Square, nice day. I need that to continue. Coinbase, I needed to get, I needed to pick up. Uh, Etsy, nice day. I have that one. Oxy, good oil play. Where's, we're in the, oh, look, I have this one. NVTA, they're, they're up. Wayfair up nice. Wow, nice, down there on Zscaler. Axion, they do the tasers. Carvana did a big deal. They bought $2.2 billion worth of uh, Odessa auction physical sites. Crazy. Mind-boggling. I wonder what, what those guys are going to do. I don't, I, they get, I don't know where they get all this money from. It really is crazy. Novocure, big... Day. 
Auto dust, nice day. Very sell, nice day. Intuit, nice day. XB, nice day. SDGR, wow, that one's been beat up. Look at that. Monster beverage, nice. Dell Technologies, wow. Dow. Dell down to 50 bucks. They've hit that one hard. Switch, nice day. Six Flags, LNG, wow, huge, huge. Tech Resources, pretty flat. A lot of earnings, a lot, a lot of earnings. Cnex Aluminum down, interesting. Dish Network up. Wow, the earnings just keep rolling. Look at that. Car gurus, wow, big day for car gurus. Alarm, big day. Cars.com. Wow, look how many earnings. How many earnings today? Seems like a lot of good earnings because I see a lot of I see a lot of uh big big stuff out there. I mean, for the most part everything's up decent. A lot of good stuff out there. Wow, how many earnings today? That's incredible. There had to be 200 earnings today, at least. Let me see what this thing says here. 323 earnings today. Wow, that is huge. Huge. Big earnings. Uh, I don't know what's on the calendar for tomorrow. Take a look at the calendar. S&P down 27. NASDAQ down 135, Dow Jones down 166, and uh, we're getting gold down 15, oil up $1.81, and the VIX is up 70 cents. Let's take a look at the calendar. This video is getting a little bit long, but I haven't done one in a week, so thought I'd chime in the most I can tonight. Probably won't be able to do another video for for until next week. I gotta hit the road. Uh, my daughter plays some soccer away from home, so gotta travel. Um, it looks like we got durable goods tomorrow. Personal income and outlays. Business and consumer. No, I don't. Not that much. Tomorrow's twenty fifth. Mm, twenty fifth, right? Yeah, twenty fifth, Friday. Well, doesn't seem like there's much there. So, yeah, man, be careful out there. Try and uh, keep your deltas in check by baiting weight in your portfolio. Uh, I think commodities are still in play. Uh, I think you still have sector rotation into value. Still like, you know, ag, uh, Tyson Foods. Um, going to look at Beyond Me. It's kind of beat up. Gold, silver, oil, gas, natural gas, anything with the grains, commodities in general. Um, there's some techs that have been beat up, and there, you know, there's there's some that you can pick up. Um, uh, Arc was up today. Kathy Woods Arc was up today, and she been beat up, but uh, she got a little bounce today. That thing has been cut in like half, literally. Anyway, stay safe, uh, stay engaged, uh, keep watching the markets, uh, keep learning, keep studying, uh, chime in, share the video, like it, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.